Hi, this is Todd Whitman with Not 10 Yacht Sales. Today we're going to take a look at a 2006 Carver 38SS, also known as the Super Sport. Let's walk around, take a look. Here we are looking at the Carver 38SS. Late February here on the Chesapeake Bay, and the boat, of course, as you can see, is in the water, available to be shown by appointment. The owner's had it for a number of years and uh, is selling it because he's going to be relocating to an area that um, isn't conducive to this type of a boat. So um, that's why the boat's available for sale. It's a recent listing. Boat's powered with Volvo Penta D6s, which are 310 horsepower diesels, IPS, so you have great fuel efficiency and maneuverability. Large cockpit, huge swim platform. We're going to hop all through the boat but today we're gonna just do a quick walk through there's the exterior let's get on one board. of the great things about a sedan is that it gives you this large cockpit space where you can easily have um dinette table you know an outside kind of bistro set or whether you use it for water sports with kayaks there's tons of room large Transom door comes out to the uh, swim platform, which is all molded in. It goes full beam. Easy access for shore power cords. Got these molded in steps, so it's very, very easy to get up to the bow of the boat. Nice wide gunnels. You have hand holds the entire way, so it's very easy to get up to the, to the bow of the boat. So when you're docking or anchoring, of course you have your anchor tag, your grounding tackle with your anchor, windlass, windlass foot pedals, nice large cleats, large bow rail. Walking down the starboard side, same thing, nice and wide, very easy to get around this boat. We're back in the cockpit. Walk up to the helm. Molded in steps, so it's easy to get up to the bridge of this boat. Once you're up here, you have a 360 degree view. Canvas is in good condition. Vinyl's in nice condition. Nice seat in front of this helm. You got storage across the front with these compartments. Over here, got a wet bar. Underneath this is additional storage. Could easily put a little refrigerator in there if you, chose, if you chose to. Of course, you have the dual helm chairs. Behind the helm, you have, of course, all your traditional Volvo gauges, which, you know, RPMs, oil pressure, temperature, fuel. But you also have this digital uh, gauge, which you can monitor information on each engine, which goes above and beyond what the analog gauges will do. Digital depth finder, VHF radio, GPS. You also have a C80 GPS char potter, Volvo fly-by-wire electronic controls, and of course a bow thruster. And all your switches. It's kind of panning around. Very easy, fun boat to drive. One of the best features of this boat is this awesome Sliding glass door walking into the main salon, which is open and airy. You're immediately greeted by a, a large couch on the starboard side. These cushions pop up and there's storage underneath here. This does not convert to a sleeper. On your port side, you have your galley, which has side-by-side -side refrigerator and freezer. Above it, of course, an LCD TV. Double burner stove, convection microwave. Um, deep bowl sink, and lots of galley storage. Just forward of the galley, you have this raised dinette. So you just have two short steps up, and you could very easily have four or five people at this dinette. And if you had that, uh, right now you'll see the privacy um, screen is on the front windows. But if you had that off, you'd have this fantastic open air, um, light-filled space. 
showing off the beautiful cherry, um, real cherry cabinetry. Walking forward before we get into the um, staterooms, you have your distribution panel, which this boat's kind of in winter mode, which is why he's got some of this stuff taped off so it can't be accidentally turned on. But you have your DC panel on the left-hand side, which is actually forward right now, and then your um, AC panel, which is going to give you shore power, generator, um, that kind of thing. Stepping down, you're in this landing. Directly forward is the head compartment, which has, of course, your large vanity, your sink with mirror, and good-looking boat salesman. Um, you have a separate shower stall with a head. Back you flush head. Just forward of that landing on your um, right, which is actually looking forward on the boat, you have your uh, master or main uh, date room, which has an island bed. You have access to that bed on port and starboard side with those two steps. So it's easy to get up and into the bed. It's also easier to make. On your starboard side, you have a large locker. Another little storage area, LCD flat screen, separate stereo controls, cabinets all across the perimeter on port and starboard of the, of the bed. You also have an additional hanging locker. This door, which is facing due directly aft, is another access to that head compartment. So if you had guests in this second stateroom we'll look at in a second, and you didn't want to disturb them, you have access to the head in the middle of the night. Directly aft. We have the um, second stateroom, which has its own privacy door. Of course, you have these um, two twin bunks. There's a filler cushion that can go in the middle of those bunks to make that into a full size or a queen size bed. Um, they have it set up right now to have be two twin bunks. Just forward of those bunks, you have uh, storage across this bulkhead. And it's got its own privacy door, so you, and also a, a nice porch. You have natural light. We're now in the uh, forward bilge, just underneath the salon floor. This is the Kohler diesel generator. It's got about 670 hours on it. Of course, it's in this nice sound box, so it's be super quiet. Battery switch and battery for that generator. That's a, a seawater strainer and pickup for your air conditioning unit. It's kind of scanning around a little bit. That's all looking aft. This is looking at the port side. Of course, a water tank, bank of batteries, some distribution switches as well as battery charger, engine room fire suppression system, and additional batteries and battery switches. That's again looking forward more towards the starboard side and your center bilge. Kind of. Scan around, and then we'll take a look at the engine. We're now in the engine space. Um, looking forward, you can see the back side of that generator that we, we just poked at. Um, here we are looking at the port side motor. Boat's had a great maintenance history. All uh, oil changes and services are done annually. He's due to have a lot of that stuff done in the in the next few weeks when it's slated to come out of the water, get pressure washed and bottom painted, etc. But here we are kind of scanning around. There's that IPS pod for the um, port side motor. And there's your starboard. Thank you very much for watching this video on the 2006 Carver 38SS with uh, Volvo diesels. I really appreciate your time and watching this video. If you have any specific questions about this boat, uh, all my contact information is in the description of this video, as well as the current offered price. Uh, thanks again for watching and safe boating.